Hi there, I'm going to show you how to connect your uh, MailChimp account to Apient and then we'll build a quick little anim uh, automation between MailChimp and uh, DonorPerfect but it could be with any other app. So the first thing you want to do is you want to sign up for a free trial or an account and all you have to do here is click on sign up for free then you can choose to sign in with Google or Twitter or with your email. I'll just use my email here so the registration is on the right and, and I will create a little registration here. There you go. And then create an account here with an email. Give it a password. Confirm the same password. and choose the time zone you're in. All right, once you create your account, you'll notice that on the top right, um, the dashboard button showed up. So you can just click on dashboard and then we'll take you to the automation editor. And now we're going to be connecting over. Oh, before that, it's going to ask us if we prefer to get assistance, do it on a, by ourselves. So if I prefer to build my own automations, um, I need help building automations and I need tailored automations built for me. So if you don't want to be bothered, just uh, keep the first one checked. But if you need assistance, just don't hesitate to choose one of those and then one of our consultants will um, contact you. No problem. Use the support widget at the bottom right if you need any help. So this is the bottom right widget here for the support if you ever need any help. So let's uh, first connect our MailChimp account. So we just go to connections up here in the menu, connect apps, and just look for the MailChimp app. And once I click on it, it's going to ask me to log in my MailChimp account with a little pop-up window. So here I just uh, log in my MailChimp account. And that's all there is to it. So now our MailChimp account is connected to Apient and is ready to be integrated with other apps. I'm also going to connect the DonorPerfect account just because I need to integrate MailChimp with something. And DonorPerfect is an app, it's kind of a CRM and a management for um, nonprofits. Great app. So I'll do the same thing here. I'll log in my DonorPerfect account. There you go. So now I have two apps connected to my uh, APN account. I could have as many as I want. And now I'm going to build an automation between the two. So all I have to do is go to create an automation here in the menu. On the left, I'm going to choose donor perfect. So what I'm going to build is an automation that anytime we have a new donor in donor perfect, we want to add that donor or update the donor in the MailChimp as a subscriber. So first I'm going to say when I have a new donor in donor perfect, click on donor perfect, choose the new donor trigger, click on fetch data fields. This is going to get all your fields to be mapped with uh, MailChimp in case you have some custom fields. And that's all you need to do for the trigger. Click on save trigger in the bottom right. So when there is a new donor in donor perfect, then I'm going to choose MailChimp and I'm going to choose add or update subscriber in MailChimp. Here I have to choose the list that I want the subscriber to be added to. So I think I have only one list with this account, my first list. And here you can choose if you want to halt if there's an error or continue if there's an error. Basically what this says is that if you have a pretty complex automation with multiple steps. If one of the steps has a hiccup for a reason or another, maybe there's bad data or the API went down, do you want the complete automation to resume or do you want the whole automation to stop? So you can try again. This is where you choose that option.
Here I'm going to choose Fetch Data Fields. This is where it's going to be fetching all the fields that I have in my MailChimp account. In this case, I have one custom field called Zip. And now I can match and map the fields between DonorPerfect and MailChimp. So first, I need to map the email. Click on the little plus sign here. And these are my DonorPerfect fields. You can just type the search field here, type email. And then first name, last name, and the zip. Save the action. And all you have to do now is give it a name. What is the automation name? So I'm going to be calling this automation when a new donor perfect donor then add or update MailChimp subscriber. Save it and choose to run this as a poll every 15 minutes. Your automation is ready to go. So let's give it a shot. So the first thing you want to do when you run an automation is run it once. When it, the first time it runs, it's going to keep track of all of the current data and only going to keep track of and update future data, the new records. So we're just going to run it, execute now normal okay it's done executing back to dashboard and now we're going to give it a little test so let's go to our donor perfect account first so let me just log in my donor perfect There you go. And then let's log in our MailChimp account just so we can verify that the data was indeed sent over. So log in my MailChimp. And there you go. So let's go to that list we were looking at. And I only have one list called my first list. And you'll notice that in my list I have four fields. The email address, the first name, the last name, and the zip with no contacts. Sorry, manage contacts, view contacts. Okay, so now the idea is that when I add a donor in donor perfect that donor will be added to mailchimp so let's do that add a new donor first last name we're going to give it a zip and we're going to give it an email Fred test at apium.com. And there you go. So now we've just added a donor in Donor Perfect, and we're now waiting for that donor to be sent over to MailChimp. And here's the automation. So the automation will run automatically in about eight minutes now, but you can also do it manually um, if you're in the council and so the automation will run automatically in a few minutes, but you can also run it manually if you are in the dashboard and don't want to wait. And here I'm going to say execute now. In normal mode. And the action was successful. The little check mark here tells me that it added a subscriber in MailChimp. So let's go to our MailChimp and Manage contact, view contacts. And here's the contact from Donor Perfect. First uh, email, first and last name, and the zip code right here. Now you could also 
integrate other things between DonorPerfect and MailChimp. You could remove emails from DonorPerfect when a MailChimp um, contact or subscriber is cleaned. You could um, um, add new unsubscribed in MailChimp to the do not email in DonorPerfect. So you could check that off automatically. Um, and also you can update donors from MailChimp into DonorPerfect. So you can also create an automation where if a donor was updated in MailChimp or a subscriber in MailChimp, it would automatically update uh, DonorPerfect. And that's it. Thank you for watching.